If you really want to bring your mid-journey prompts to the next level, you need to master how to utilize multi-prompts and text weights. Mid-journey actually has the ability to consider two or more concepts individually. For example, if we take the prompt hot dog as a single concept, we get a hot dog. But if we separate the two using the double colon as a separator, Midjourney will consider them separately and we get a much different image as you can see here on the right. Midjourney is actually able to consider two or more prompts at one time. Of course, you wouldn't want to add too many prompts because it would muddy your results, but I have found that it handles three and four prompts really well. Now, after the double colon, you can assign a number value, and this number value determines the relative importance that that prompt has in the overall prompt. Now, what's important to note, and it can be a little confusing, is that the level of importance for each respective text weight is dependent on the number ratio between each text weight. So if one has the value of one and another has the value of two, the one with the value of two will be two times greater. But it's also the same if it has the value of 25 and the other one has the value of 50, it'll still be two times greater and it's the same thing essentially. All right, so over here in Mid Journey, we're gonna type our standard singular prompt and it's gonna be tree man illustration. And we get exactly what you would expect, a tree man illustrated. But this is where we can add in our text weights into our prompt to create a different sort of images. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a similar prompt, it's going to be the same words, tree man illustration, but we're going to add a text weight to the word tree, thus separating the two. And we no longer have a tree man, at least not in the same way. You can see how it's separating the prompt now because we have trees, an aspect of trees, but we also have more humanoid man faces. Now let's alter our prompt once more and we're gonna get add a text weight to all three parts. So tree is gonna have its own text weight, man is gonna have its own text weight, and illustration is gonna have its own text weight. They all have the same value, so they all have the same level of importance. And as you can see here, uh, Mid Journey went ahead and created an image and it's a bit a lot more abstract and you see all three elements the illustration element the man element and the tree element resulting in a much different set of images now another cool thing is we can actually add a negative text weight so let's go ahead and do our reference image here I'm gonna go ahead and do a standard prompt of a vibrant tulip field alrighty and here we have our beautiful pictures of the flowers now, maybe you hate the color orange, you just despise it. So what we can do here is we could go and type our prompt once more, vibrant tulip fields, add a text weight to that, and then space, the color that you don't want in the picture, in this case, orange, and then we're gonna add the text weight, negative 0.5. Now, why is it negative 0.5? That's just what equals to saying no in Mid Journey. And this means, no, I don't want this. I don't know why it's negative 0.5, but that is what they have decided. It's important to note that whatever negative number you put, it will default to the 0.5. It's just the same exact thing as saying no. But look at this. We have another field of beautiful flowers, but you don't see any orange flowers. This really works well with colors, but it can also work well with other things. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything else you need me to clarify. Other than that, take care.